Hey guys, so I'm like super annoyed right now. <laughs> Wanna know why? Because I had what I thought to be was a brilliant idea and color scheme here. And the fragrance I want to use does accelerate and that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So what's the problem? I just had the freaking fragrance like not too long ago and now I can't find it. So I'm just kind of running around wasting time looking for it. <sighs> Okie doke, I am done having my meltdown. <laughs> my fragrance is actually over there with my colorants and on top of the blue that I was looking at. So, now, I'm not going to do much talking in this video just because I need to figure out what in the halibut I'm supposed to be doing. Um, this, Both of these are unfragranced. I'm going to be using a lot of different bowls because I still got this over here, which I'm going to use to lighten this. Um, this is the color it's going to stay. So, basically, my idea is to do a... Hopefully I can pull off a straight line pour so it's going to be this color, then this color, then a lighter shade, then this same color, lighter still, this same color until I have nothing left. That's why I wanted to use a fragrance that um, accelerated. I've never done a straight line pour. Hopefully it comes out right. If it doesn't, oh well, we'll improvise like we always do. So sit back and enjoy the music um, if you like this idea so far. Be sure to give a thumbs up. And as you, if you are not sure and you're going through the video and watching, you're like, hey, you know what? That looks like it's going to be cool. Give a thumbs up for that too. And for those of you who are new, hey, so happy you found me. So glad you decided to stick around. I know it's early, but hopefully you will stick around. All right, guys. So enjoy the music. Okay, so, um, yeah, this, uh, fragrance, I didn't even tell you what it is, it's, uh, Japanese pear and ginseng, and when they said it's the fast mover, they were not lying. As you can see, this is already set up, and I am off to a fail already. <laughs> this is not going to be, um, a straight line for the first layer, at least, because, um, I touched it with my spatula trying to clean up the side, so I guess I'm gonna have to not really care about the sides too much try my best not to get it up the sides but uh yeah I touched it and made it a little rocky so I am a very slow soaker a lot of you know that so I need to learn how to speed it up so gonna... all right so I'll be back with the next layer This fragrance, I mean, it moves very fast, but it is perfect for uh, something like this. Um, but you do have to move very, very quickly. Just turn that music down a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, you have to move very, very quickly. And I don't know what this is going to look like because my measurements went kind of uh, wonky after a while. <laughs> no, I don't like this color, so I'm going to have to mix just a little bit more purple in here. This is more of a funky uncolor. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so far, because purples are like, they're a devil when it comes to uh, keeping their colors. Some of like, especially like a dark purple, they normally will morph into a gray. So uh, this one has been well behaved so far. I just hope that when I unmo this soap, I don't get a surprise and it's a totally different color because that would suck. But um, yeah. Um, as you see, these layers are set, they set up really, really fast. I'll just put just a wee bit of color in there. Nothing crazy. So, really, this is all I'm going to add because I don't want it um, too dark. 
because it is supposed to be like ombre. So I do have a little bit of unmixed fragrance right there, but you know what? It absorb. I couldn't wait any longer because like I said, this fragrance is a very, very, very fast mover. But it smells so refreshing. When I first got this fragrance, and again, it's by Rustic Essential, um, that's uh, Japanese parent ginseng. The note of ginseng was very, very potent. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> but um, somebody did state on the website, once you pour it, it kind of mellows out. And it did. And now it's just a wonderful, sweet blend. Uh, fresh and sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a mix and see what happens. Hopefully it's not too, not too dark. So that's all I'm going to do because I'm going to have to stir, of course. But uh, I'm very curious to see how I did with this straight line. Um, I've never done one before. I don't think it's going to be completely straight. And when Amy Wharton did the challenge, I noticed a lot of people were struggling with uh, their first one so they would do seconds and kudos to all of you who did like 32 lines <laughs> y'all crazy <laughs> look crazy awesome um i just don't have a, a lot of soaps i won't do because i don't have the patience for it um i think they look spectacular and i take my hat off to you artists who have the patience to sit there for 15 hours uh, working on a soap and then not only like i said my knee if you guys watched the last video, my knee gives me troubles, so um, standing for that long or working on one project for that long is just not an option for me. But I will try some things, and I feel like this is too dark. Isn't that crazy? So I think I want to give it a dash of TD, and when I say a dash, I mean very little. Very, very little, like that. That way it's not that funky color or whatever uncolor that was but it's not the same color this is when i needed my um clear mold but there's another soap in it right now so i think that'll do i think and i don't Ooh, i don't know <laughs> guys i don't know um how i'm gonna t uh, texture this because this just might have to be a flat top once you put the fragrance in it doesn't give you enough time to do anything to it so uh here we go so hopefully hopefully it'll you know work nice but i doubt it for me to actually put a texture on the top i highly do doubt it so and then i like stir like a mad woman <laughs> Because it, uh, it sets up within seconds, but it is, I, I wish, honestly, um, when I want to try stuff like this, um, and I do like the fact that, I'm all over the place, sorry, but um, the wonderful soap makers on Rustic Essential, they do leave reviews uh, when they purchase, I'm one of them, I do leave reviews as much as I can, um, because it's very helpful sorry um for stammering all over the place i was thinking what i'm gonna do am i gonna try to attempt to get yeah no so i think that's gonna be that's about as much as i can do now i'm about to become very brave i don't care about the mess i'll clean it up in a minute because i would like to have some kind of design you know but I don't think I was going to almost try to get that blue. But let's see. No, it's not going to happen. I don't have enough. So what am I going to do? Whatever I'm going to do, I better decide to do it fast. All right. So I'm going to take some white and dump it in there and give it a very fast start. <laughs> okay, not that fast because I'm throwing it all over myself. And kind of do like a... Like a ghost world in a sense. This is actually, ooh, that's a pretty color, isn't it? Oh wow, it's actually working, you know, working well because I didn't need as much for that last layer, so maybe that's why. 
but hopefully yeah it's still fluid for me to do something with it thank god okay now take this and just kind of drizzle it down the middle down the middle and then i will put the remainder of this in a mold actually I'm gonna put this in here because this uh, sofa over here I know you guys probably can't see me it's unscented it was just a project I was working on for another soap and I didn't scent it oh that's gorgeous man that's pretty so Kenny you better get your arson gear because <laughs> uh, in a minute you're not gonna be able to do anything with this soap okay leave this alone who cares about this all right now I need a skewer like I said, I will clean um, those sides up. I'm just saying, like I said, I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, so I think, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for that. Oh, I'm just like really surprised by how nice this is bathing. But give it about, I would say give it a few minutes. Give it another three minutes. It's going to be stiff as a board. <laughs> Because uh, I had a couple fool me like that. Like, wait a minute, it's not. And I had to, like, really, really kick it in gear. And I'm going to have to bevel this nicely. But at least I was able to put a design in that swirl. I'm happy. I wish, oh, I wish I could have got a little bit of blue. Because that would have really tied it in. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's kind of thick okay yep yeah. uh, come on <laughs> yes this is a very odd color so but I like it I'm gonna try to tie that blue in but I'm happy that it's not my normal I do the same thing over and over again and it even gets on my nerves so I can imagine that it gets on you all's nerves and um, like I said in a few videos ago, I'm going to try to step away from the pinks and the greens for a while because uh, all of my soaps are starting to become pink and green. And that's annoying, so get that on there. And again, you see I'm dillying around? Okay, Kenny, you're not going to be happy till you can't make a design. All right, hopefully it'll play nice enough. Yeah, it does. Thank you, so thank you. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up. I can feel it. I'm just trying to get a better. Well, since, okay, all right. Now, since I was able to, it's still uh, pliable. I am going to take my spoon and make some pics. Um, <laughs> I could use this. This looks like a taupe color. And I really could have um, made it higher, but now I don't want to mess up my little design I got going on there. If you are new to my channel again, hello. I am so freaking happy you found me. And um, why not become a part of Stinkin' Awesome, stinkin awesome Crew? <laughs> by hitting that subscribe button be sure to hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notifications when i post new videos because i do every sunday at least i try okay it's just like really it's always things need to disprove you because <laughs> i'll say oh yeah it's such a fast mover and then now i'm talking to you guys it's no longer fast forward and it's behaving nicely you're funny so but i'm not complaining because it actually allowed me to do something with it and i think i love this top yep i do okay that's all i'm gonna do and am i gonna put glitter no because this is ginseng and pear and honestly this could be male or female all right guys so that is it for the soap until the cutting which is attached to this video so don't take your behind nowhere i'm gonna give you a close-up and I might be able to unmold this today I'm feeling like I am going to well probably tonight so yeah stick around and I'll see you over there hi darlings I am back 
Um, so let's talk about this soap. So it has changed from purple to brown. Do I love it? Nope. Um, are the lines straight? Nope. <laughs> so I don't really know what to expect for this soap. Um, this is the next day, but I unmolded it last night, like maybe four, four or five hours later, but I figured I'd just let it sit and chill out without me poking around at it. It's still a little tacky, but I don't know. It's just like the humidity in my workspace has been a little bit higher than I would like. So I am back to running my um, dehumidifier. So I'm going to cut this. I literally just walked in the house, but I was so excited to see what this is going to look like on the inside. Because I somehow feel like I'm not going to love this soap. Yeah, it's just okay. <laughs> and it's hard to say by the first cut, but right now I think it's just all right. But um, it's a very smooth looking soap. I do like that. So that's a good thing about uh, fragrances that accelerate. Mm, and this soap is just so refreshing. I can't even understand how a soap could be that refreshing smelling. It's just like this very crisp smell to it. It's, it's a wonderful fragrance. And that sharpness of the ginseng most definitely did tone down. Um, some head about that you know what this soap is actually kind of cool looking it is just totally outside of what I do I think the reason why I wasn't in love because it's now like a brownish choke color and I was really wanting purple but I understand that's what you get with purples <laughs> you are not promised anything with a purple so it is what it is but um I think it's gonna grow on me I want to bite it <laughs> so fresh smelling it makes me want like a glass of I keep thinking of a a citrus pop it's not oh a glass of 7-up it kind of has a bit of a 7-up um, bubbliness to it that's what it is I do like this fragrance a lot and I I will actually use this again like I said it's great for when you want to try to get a certain design and you need um, a fragrance that sets up very fast so I will be buying this again because I do really enjoy the smell of it and um, next time of course I won't go with purple uh, just because yeah I'm just gonna give up on using dark purples <laughs> if any of you know where I can get a true dark purple that actually stays and um, you don't have to tell me about potent purple from nurtures I already have that and it morphs as well and they actually discontinued it so um, yeah if any of you know of a really nice dark purple that actually is true to its color and color process place like me now please and thank you so oh, this soap is just so pleasant to cut oh I'm so happy it just cuts so nice and smooth and I don't know why I just keep getting the urge to bite this soap but I'm not gonna do it but I really want to <laughs> it is so darn refreshing wow and I want to see now I notice like when I get soaps that discolor or color morph should I say um, especially a darker color sometimes I'll get colored suds I don't think that I will on this one I am going to do a test on this little piece sitting over here to see if I do but I highly highly doubt it because I didn't use a crazy amount matter of fact I know I'm not gonna get color suds because I kept lighting it with white but I don't know I'm still gonna do a test and how you guys know if it did or didn't you won't sit on my website <laughs> I mean some people don't mind colored suds I don't and some people do but um, if it does have colored suds I would definitely that's what I'll do I will still post it duh that's no kidding but I will <laughs> put it in the description that you may get colored suds and if you don't like it then for you Oh, this is oh that one's really wonky but I actually kind of like that one I think I like this one better than the rest of them because it looks unintentional like oh she was trying to do a straight line but failed <laughs> so, um, I'm actually a fan of that one more so than the others and the color is kind of doing something now that it's been cut and air has gotten to it it's I guess kind of like firming I don't know what to call it but normally like when I cut my soaps and air get to them they do change and they look a lot better so that's what's happening here hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day I am today went by like freakishly fast at work today and I was not mad at it 
sitting, you know, minding my own business and just working away. He looked up, it was people putting their coats on. I'm like, hey, where are you guys going? So, <laughs> so um, I didn't mind that too much. It was a good day. I love days like that because I get to come home and start my second job, which I love the most, which is this. So, yeah, not bad. So I started out with a purple and uh, pale blue, and I end up with, uh, honestly, you know what? I don't know if the camera's picking that up. That dark purple at the bottom is kind of what it's supposed to be. It has a grayish tint to it, but on the sides, and that's what's happening. Now that the air is getting to it, the color is starting to come in a little bit better. As you can see, the sides always tell you the true colors of your soap, unless you have partial gel. So this pale green and grayish color is not going to be the end color of this soap. Oh, okay. I need to stop sticking my nails and things. But I would love, 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 love to get a um, real straight line. <laughs> you know, I just think I come to the realization that I'm not one of those people that will ever, 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 ever get a straight line on the soap. Nope. You know, I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. And straight lines ain't one of them. But that's okay. Because they're kind of whimsical. So I'm not mad at it. Oh, that smells good, 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 good. <laughs> I like pear. I do like pear in a soap. I, yeah, I do. Um, also, I guess the question for this video, for the, the, the poll question, should I say, is... Huh, how can I say this? Um, yeah. My two favorites that are not your basic would be a pear and a soap and a tea. Which one do you guys like best? A tea or pear. Yeah, um, you can click that button right up in the corner. It should pop up with a poll. Let me know which one you guys like best. I think if I had to pick between the two, it would be tea. But what if I did like a tea and pear? I think that would be just brilliant, don't you think? Or am I wrong here? Too much? Too far? <laughs> I think it just might work. I might have to try that because green tea is just... And I think I spoke about this before. Green tea is awesome. I love green tea. And I hope I didn't ask this in a poll before. <laughs> I'm going nuts with the green tea poll questions. But I just like, not green tea, but just tea. Tea smells lovely in a fragrance oil. So there you have it. I hope you like this soap. If you do, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. I'm so glad you guys decided to stick around and see what I see. What this is going to turn out like. Um, I do like it. At first, I was really, really disappointed by it when I came downstairs and unmolded. I was like, oh, no. But, um, yeah, I'm not too bothered by it. I actually I actually like it a lot. And it, I don't know if you can tell. The camera may not pick it up. But this one is actually starting to get some of its color back. And this one is still a wee bit yellowish green color. So, yeah, I'm happy. So, if you do like this, so be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new, I am so freaking happy you're here. Um, please do hit that subscribe button. Become a part of my Stingin' Awesome crew. And be sure to hit the notification bell. It's on one of these sides. I think, I want to say here. <laughs> hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. You do want to see when I make new videos, don't you? Huh? Yeah, I hope so. Alright guys, until the next making video, I will see you over there. Bye darlings.